Welcome everybody to the J Bin Lee Experience. And today we have a special guest, my buddy Asquin. How are you? I'm good. Did I uh, pronounce that right? You did. Oh, you okay. Did. Okay. Okay. That's right. It's kind of hot out here. For uh, it's nice. It's nice for the few couple days. We've been very cold. I think we have about an hour before the rain kicks in. Yeah. But uh, we'll do it out of the rain. We don't care. I'm just kidding. We'll see what we do. Rain okay. or shine. Yes. Yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Can't you... complain. Symptom free. Symptom free. Yes. Yes. And this is partially why we're outside because of uh, Mr. COVID. So just, you know, adapting and dealing with the situation. So as I usually always start off uh, the shows, the podcast, uh, it's really simple with us because we met through GCFE and GCFF right. and just doing some, uh, you know, I do the waffles, they call them something else now. Uh, and then there was a point, well, right now you're doing pretty okay, but there was a point where you would keep on winning. True. And you I, couldn't lose. I couldn't lose. We were winning so much, people were getting tired of us winning. Right. Yeah, it was crazy. I just, I just had to see you. Well, good thing you only live like 10, 15 minutes down the street. But like, uh, no, I remember I'm seeing every time I, this guy again, again. And uh, no, it was really nice. And sometimes like after I'll show, show some of them off too later. But uh, you started giving me gifts every time. I, I mean, I've been winning so much. I mean, like, <laughs> gotta pay it forward. <laughs> gotta, yeah, that's, gotta pay it forward. everybody knows that's our GCFE, GCFF uh, motto. I mean, unspoken motto, but that's literally what everybody does. I mean, we do have some bad apples here and there, uh, but uh, not gonna mention any names yet. Oh. Okay, oh. so. Shots fired. Shots. Oh. You saw the beginning with all the. All right, so uh, just, uh, you know, a little bit of intro about yourself uh, before you talk about your frag life, you know, a little bit of a uh, personal whatever. All right. Sure. Um, so again, ask with Alan. Uh, pleasure to be uh, to be on the channel. Pleasure to have you. Um, so, I mean, I'm a bit of a political, I guess you could say, okay. uh, or came up uh, at least to where I am now through uh, through politics. Uh, was working for uh, the provincial government uh, for a while and involved with uh, partisan politics for a bit, and and you know up until 2018 uh, in that uh, last election was working in government wow then, i didn't i didn't you never told me this stuff yeah yeah man. Oh, okay um and so after that summer took uh, some time off and then started a new job uh doing some advocacy work uh now um but uh, yeah that's i mean i guess the quick nuts of, uh, of me um, of jamaican descent uh, born in toronto uh, raised in toronto huge huge there we go huge uh, Raptors, uh, Raptors fan. We the North. That's right, that's right. I wanted to like Jamaica, but I, I'm not gonna even do the accent because it's all good. I only do the ones that I can do, and that's it's gonna be horrible. People it's... are gonna turn it off right now, so I just saved us from everybody turning this off. So, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 it's all good. But uh, but yeah, uh, of Jamaican descent, parents came here in uh, in the '80s uh, with the wave and growing this beard actually okay. since April 5th of this year, and so it's. That's how long it takes. That's right. That's that's, right. that's hard work. Dedication. Put the razors down, guys. Put them down. Sorry. Okay, so that's very interesting, actually. Um, a lot of people don't talk about their personal life here, and I'm I'm glad you did a little bit more. And now, this might take forever. Actually, let's get into your frag life. How everything started, um, and um, yeah, just give it. Right. So I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't wear too many. Fragrance kid, you started as okay, not even high school. Well, kid, just, I'm just talking kid. about your, okay. your life, right? Okay, your evolution, yeah. no, no, uh, yeah, to, yeah, to this very moment. It's right? just surprising. But, kid is pretty way back, but right. go ahead, go ahead. Um, so the first fragrance I ever remember wearing was uh, Black Suede. Okay, from I think it comes out of the Avon catalog or something. Okay, um, how is it? Um, I mean, it's I remember it at least I haven't smelt it in oh, wow. decades, okay. but. Uh, like a sort of a fresh, I guess, musky okay. type of a, a scent. Anything else? Um, so that's the the orig origin that got you started origin. and branched. Well, okay. well, not well, that's the first thing I ever remember smelling. In okay, terms of, but you weren't that into it yet, obviously, no. as a kid. Okay, it was just hey, you gotta put started. on cologne as you get ready to go to church, get ready to go out, whatever. Even as a kid, yeah, wow, that's my like. It, Is that here in Canada or back in here? Home? Here, in oh, Canada. okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's I was awesome. Born in Canada. Yeah. My parents still don't even wear clothes. Yeah, <laughs> you might not think it's a waste of money, but that's another story. No, but yeah, that's, that's really religious. awesome. Um, her like signature fragrance, I would say, is uh, Elizabeth Arden Red Door. Wow, that's like the standard. Very, very classy lady. High class. That's and, right. Yeah. Wow. That's right. But uh, yeah, uh, black suede, and and so 
you know, the first, I guess, after that, you know, period, I want to say in like 2016, 17, uh, I had one of the bottles that I have here. Um, which is? Which is, uh, here we go, Mont Blanc Legend Intense. Okay. So I started wearing this to work sort of as an everyday. You want a you wanna fragrance battle? There I got one too. Go. Well, well my, mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> so anyway. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, I started wearing this to work every day. It's just a regular <laughs> sig signature <laughs> signature scent, and you know, uh, you know, it's something I you know put in the briefcase. And so when you get to work, let's say maybe 11, 12, you reapply. Okay. Uh, after lunch, kind of a thing. And if you do like different events in the evening, you might reapply before you head out uh, to those like work uh, type things too. And so in the I want to say in the first two hours after spraying. Always get compliments. Two, three. My boss, you know, very fresh home, pineapple, right? um, apple, tonka beans. I mean, yeah, it's very, very nice. Um, so, do you actually find it uh, stronger than the uh, regular Legend I version? I do. I do. Not too much, but I do. There's, yeah. a, there's a noticeable at least difference. That probably is the purpose of this uh, flanker. Right. Obviously, right, right. intense. But not. I want to say, a couple days ago or something, they oh. did release the EDP version. Oh, really? Yeah. Of Legend. Yeah. Okay. Black sort of uh, lettering around the, the top there. So. And this is really uh, very fairly new news. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. You heard uh, it on here. Yeah. Um, so I definitely plan to check that out. Uh, okay. Uh, when it hits shoppers or discounters, whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, and so after that, I started to realize the actual, you know, power of fragrance and how it sort of affected. The Change other your people. mood. Right. People. It's like music. music. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And so from that, I went to um, YSL. Uh, why nice. when it came out nice um, sort of not generic but just a sort of regular fresh uh, very good segue drug I mean uh, segue fragrance fragrance I said fragrance, fragrance. fragrance. yeah yes, that's right yes. <clears throat> um, yeah and so we started wearing that on the regular and, and got even more compliments because it was I found even a bit broader reaching in terms of people's appetite okay for that kind of a scent um, and then from there it was like well people like that and, and I like it. it smells great which is the main reason I mean I wear fragrance but started to you know go through everything at shoppers with my optimum points so i didn't actually spend it's true i, I didn't actually do you spend, do you spend it on the point days where you get extra points that's right did you you did that's right all right and when you're you have to buy lose. toilet paper and lysol and, and hand sanitizer uh you, you don't need that stuff all you need no, is fragrance that's all right. you need is fragrance to survive that's when, all you you, need. when you buy that stuff you do on the days you get 20 times the points oh yeah, yeah, yeah. right so then you're you're max no i just buy the fragrance with the extra points i don't buy like toilet paper and that stuff i just go to mcdonald's that's, and get extra napkins and you know all that stuff you can get somehow that's you just true. need to buy fragrance you don't Smart. need anything in your life listen to this guy he knows what he's talking that's about. how he survived so um as moving on as usual i'm gonna do the we're gonna do the top five and we're gonna do the top five houses first and uh usually like i always said imagine like i have a gun to your head or there's a there's a bomb with, about to explode, right. tick tock, tick tock. So uh, try not to take too long. Right. Top five houses. Number five. Number five, Yves Saint Laurent. Nice. Hundred uh, percent. The uh, original uh, Y uh, eau de toilette. Love it. Even though it lasts maybe half an hour or an hour. No, it really <laughs> not like it doesn't that last that week. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I, for me, it didn't it, it didn't last long, and so I, it was just in the briefcase and at the office, and I would just you know. Uh, go to town, but the Y Live and the uh, Y Live is better. Yes, where my, where I am in my life is the EDP. Okay, yes, yes. And so that to me is, is one of the, I think will be one of the lifetime favorite, uh, lifetime okay. favorites for me. Okay. Y EDP um, definitely, and the Old Fresh, like when it came out a couple months ago, it's pretty good. Like that sort of lemon icicle type. I uh, really like it. I um. I really, when EDP came out and I, I tried it, I, I really thought like there's not going to be another YSLY flanker that's right. going to come close to. I wouldn't say you beat it, but it really, uh, it's competing up there and it's really, uh, it's really nice. It's really right. fresh and it, it was surprising because I thought it's it, job. Yeah, right. it does its job. Right. I was like, ah, we don't need another one. And no, it is unique and it did its job. By the way, when we have you back again, we'll talk about some whys, all three of them. But because uh, mm -hmm. today we're going to talk about the Mont Bach at the end. Uh, but uh, yeah, I really agree that YSL is very, very, very nice. For sure. Um, number four, TikTok. Um, Thanks I, for reminding me. Yes. <laughs> uh, Chanel. Okay. Chanel. I mean, again, yeah. 
And so not long after I purchased Y, okay. I purchased uh, Blue de Chanel uh, Parfum. Parfum, yes, yes. That's my favorite out of all three, all, too. Out of all three. Yes. The way the grapefruit, for me, sits on the skin, it's very professional, very elegant, very clean. Um, so I do definitely gravitate to Do you like to the Allure's, Allure Sports as well? Allure's good. Allure on Sport yeah. or Extreme. Like okay. Sort of that uh, vanilla sort of kick there I do like. Um, actually, you don't like the... Oh, no, actually, sorry, go ahead. I like the yeah. All Extreme. I was talking about the, the Freshy. The, Edition Blanche. Edition, Edition Blanche, yes, yes. You don't like that? Not as much as I like right. the YSLY. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, you really like that one too as I, well. I love oh, okay. it. Like this is that lemon meringue pie. Like it's, it can be summer, but it can also sort of transition you like sort of the weather now into okay. fall. Um, I, I do like it. I think the, the almond in there is too strong for me. I, to me, it's, it's, the, it's the sweet lemon that's not like sickly sweet, so it would be a gourmet. Do you like it more than Ah Extreme? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Mm, all right, we'll talk I, after. I we'll see about that. apologize in advance. Okay. No, that's good. Uh, Chanel, obviously, uh, way, way up there designer. I was talking about uh, that with Brendan, how you barely can find it at discounters. Right. And, uh, I mean, just that adds to the value and uh, whatever to a nostalgia or right. whatever word I'm looking for. But, um, yeah. no, Chanel, yeah, good Less choices. exclusives, too. Yes. Like Coromandel, I've heard is good. Um, I mean, I have a sample, but I haven't really sort of done a full wearing. Like, there's a lot in the line that... that uh, that you can gravitate to. I uh, so far, I like that you like. I'm not saying anything about other people. Well, me too, and a lot of people out there. They, I've talked about this uh, subject before. Everybody's niche, niche, niche. Niche is cooler. Niche is better. Blah blah blah. Sometimes I'm um, kind of like that unconsciously, mm -hmm. and I like how you don't uh, you don't push any of that. You don't. You just like what you like, and you don't care. I've, designer what I, what I happen to like is designer and there's nothing else to it there's no if there's no buts there's just that's what I like right. and a lot of people I don't know they just oh I'm not gonna say top five designers I've, I'm gonna make sure they're all niche to look cool or whatever so yeah. I really appreciate that gotta like what you like it's not worth it if it's you know if you're not genuine with yourself yeah that's trying to, all it is but there are people out there trying to like don't just always follow the marketing right of what they're, they're trying to sell you you have to like what they're trying to sell you at the end of the day right couldn't be put well together. All right, next one, number three. Number three, uh, Mont Blanc. Okay. Mont Blanc. Very surprised. <laughs> uh, Legend Intense. Okay. Uh, as I mentioned before, Legend is also good. I mean, to the point where, I, you know, you get the body wash and, you know, the bar soap and like some of the other okay. uh, products um, that have the same scent. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the frag that brought me to to the line i am a, i actually am a big fountain pen person okay i do use fountain pens and okay. so the fact that i do have one or two mont blancs in the collection you know you start to look at i don't have any do you have time pens. walker uh i i do not okay I you do. know which one it is yeah that came out with the the star walker yes yeah okay yes. okay yes yes but um but yeah so i do because of the the pens um definitely I started to look at the frags, the watches, like the, the wallets, all that kind of stuff. Not that I have all those kind of products, but, but you were into it. You were into, into the it. brand, yes. right? And so that's, I guess, one brand where you sort of get sucked in to. That was to, your segue, right? Brand. To at least okay. see what else is is uh, out there from the same. Uh, well, the same since company. it is your segment brand, and I already knew that, and it's one of your favorite, we're going to just cut it off here about Mont Blanc, and we're going to have another section at the end that we're going to actually go more deeper into it yeah. personally with uh, you and uh, whatnot. So, number two. Do we uh, have a niche two. house here? Uh, we Ooh, do. Oh, ask we do. Very uncharacteristic uh, of you. Right. What is it? Which one is it? Um, it is the, the House of Creed. Mm. The House of Creed, yeah. Um, Would you like to talk more about it? Uh, yeah, Creed is always associated with uh, freshness and whatnot mm -hmm. and uh, good choice good choice right even with sort of the the deeper I guess um, they're not necessarily known for like danky sense yeah so to speak but even, like the even, one they right. call uh, I forgot a bit a then a then something yeah adventure or something yeah yeah, like yeah. That. La adventure yeah I don't know. Um, that's more dark and yeah. but e but even fragrances uh, that sort of fall into that sort of range of the spectrum still come off very fresh from the House of Creed. Okay. Not necessarily sure another house could pull off that freshness and the darkness sort of at the same uh, same time. They they blend well and uh, I I just 
I don't want to talk too much about it, but it's just the batch variation. But if they just could fix that, it's almost perfection to me. And even I don't know some of the some of the fragrances that people don't like as much as like original Centel, original Vetiver, uh, original, even original. Vetiver. Yeah, no, they they really are something else for me. They really I put them way up there. They're yeah. done so well and uh, invoke some kind of emotion out of me. That's um, right. That's not easy to do. Yeah, there's there are some people out there that don't like original vetiver. Certain no, that's some, what I was some, saying. Some YouTubers, you know, out there. <laughs> no, 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 no. He knows so, as well. But uh, yeah. no, everybody's opinion is different. Cascades, then. <laughs> no, we're both big fans, so that's definitely. Um, yeah. I've told him myself. Like, oh, you hate all the stuff that I love. All right, number one. So number one, number one. I'm trying to use the voice. <clears throat> number, number one, one would be a very a very posh fragrance from a very posh designer. Uh, works with handbags, he works with dresses and all kinds of things that showcase feminine and that's masculine pretty good. beauty. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, nice, nice. That's actually really nice. Yeah, and so Tom 44, how the master himself, no, number one, for, for me, at yeah. least, right? Not to say I don't like designers. There are plenty of designers. Uh, Tom Ford's in, in, the, the in the middle, I think. Like, you know, you, you know. still find them at the mall, but they're really not designer, but they're really not niche. Right. Yeah. You, you could find some, some Tom Ford's in the shopper's drug line. Oh, yeah, some, some. Right. Um, From the signature line, yes. Noir Extreme. Uh, what am I, which yeah. one I'm talking about? You, sometimes they give you samples as well right. from shoppers. Right, um, right. Can't, Metallique, I think yeah. they, they've done before. The new sort of 2020 Beau de Jour is in Yeah, I was going to say Beau de Jour, that's the one I was looking for. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Um, so use your optimum points, people. You can get Tom Ford fragrances. Funny to say. Shoppers is uh, around the corner. Yes. Um, so would shoot some of the fragrances that you like from Tom Ford. Cool. So I mean, since this is number one house, we'll start okay. here. It's in the box, but you know. Okay. Noir extreme, for me, that sort of. Wolfy, you know, sugary uh, sweetness mixed in with the spice with the carbon. Lovely evening scent nice, for nice, me. Nice. When you're trying to sort of class it up, you're going out to some dinner, or some fancy reception, or whatever. Nice. Really great scent, and it's it's meant to sort of waft through the air, and then people sort of lean into you a bit more and want to talk to you a bit more, and 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 are intrigued with who you are as a person and not just. The frag ring, but gotta love, gotta love it. Any, any others you want to mention really quick, and then we'll get back to this at the show and tell. Sure. Okay. Um, or just you just want to mention out, like say yeah. a few. Sure, sure. More than a few, five. Oh, oh all from Tom Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, your, your favorites. Yeah, yeah. How much time? <laughs> um, so I mean, just give me five I'm, or ten. I'm liking, I'm liking bitter peach, like this new one that's okay. come out. Ah, okay. It's, it's, it's I'm, nah. I'm starting to, uh, starting to, starting to, to. You don't find a little older. feminine. It is a little, but I'm, I'm, I'm starting to gravitate to some of those more floral. It is, it is kind of sweet, and like a, a sweetness that doesn't serve as much of a purpose as, let's say, okay. an Noir Extreme. I will give you that. But it's, it's just how, you can like, if you close your eyes and you smell bitter peach, you can see the peach in front of you. You know, I, I give you that. I just, my problem, I think, is I had an expectation of kind of what it was gonna be, right. and I thought it was gonna be much more tart bold or i yeah. just it's literally just sweet peach and just what do i it's, it's very what do I it's know? very linear okay right no i just didn't i was expecting something more uh intriguing is what right. i think what right. i'm looking for but uh, i mean it's not the it's not the best but it's there and okay I, and i'm okay and it's one I of the see. newer ones that we should touch on yeah so i mean another definite one would be cafe rose that sort of coffee floral um, definitely a great I find a great office scent okay. um, does sort of pack a punch in the beginning which is good but it can take you throughout uh, throughout the day definitely love uh, uh, love cafe uh, cafe rose um, getting really addicted to Tuscan leather oh yeah after somebody gave me a decan <laughs> not gonna say uh, actually two people gave me a decan okay um, from the the other world, the the dark world that we won't speak of. Okay. Um, <sighs> it's very manly. It's very uh, right, right. another thing that I didn't really appreciate at first. Uh, my uh, buddy Nick, um, it's his favorite uh, hands down signature scent. And uh, when I got it for him, and when I started out, I just I'm like what? 
I don't, I don't get it. And now, I, I guess my nose is maturing a little bit too, where yeah. I really appreciate it and uh, I really like it now. Mm -hmm. um, Neroli Portofino. Obviously. Great, great, fresh uh, fragrance. Uh, I'm looking to pick up uh, Forte at some point. Probably have, in the spring. have you tried? Um, I haven't tried Forte, but okay. again, somebody gave me a decan of uh, Portofino. Um, so I definitely okay. will be going through that. I'm one of those people that would just put stuff on your hand and just throughout the day and be like, uh, we'll, we'll give a Forte Pino, Forte, Forte yeah. a try um, later on and we'll see how uh, he likes it compared to the regular one. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back with the show intel. Welcome back everybody. We're going to do a quick show intel. And before you start showing off the stuff you brought that you love so much, let's show intel uh, what you want. This guy wins something every freaking week, I swear to God. Not true. Uh, see what's in here. All right, we got, oh wow, you bet. No, no, before we do this uh, fragrance stuff, let's uh, start with the important stuff that's, that's in true. here. Yeah, yes, yeah. taco pie, which is what I would have wanted to win, but I got something shitty instead. Um, uh, very great, uh, uh, delicious, delectable marshmallow center, um, engulfed by two um, got some. Got some candy, candy is always good. Korean candy. Korean candy. Uh, wow. What? It's, it's, it's part of the deal. You win stuff and you get stuff extra. Especially when you enter every single one with the four plus spots. What does that say? Rhino. Rhino. I, I, I do not deserve this. Leathery. I do not deserve this. Then the main event. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Tom Ford, Tuscan Leather. Tuscan Leather. Didn't we just talk about this? We did. Mm-hmm. We did. Oh, chocolate pie. Didn't we just talk about this? We did. Okay. We did. Mm. Both, both are good. Mm. Both are very good. Mm. But thank you so much, man. I don't. I definitely don't deserve all uh, all of this. So. You deserve it because you want it. Okay. Oh, so let's uh, have a little show and tell of your what you got there. Sure. For sure. Let's uh, get started here. What kind of bag did you bring, by the way? Listen. Listen, okay? Galen Weston. Anywhere. Love you. Sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm sponsored by Shoppers and uh, they're paying me multi-million dollars. That's so right. I, I have to, uh, we have to talk about Shoppers once in a while. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want extreme. Can't go wrong. In the winter, you can also, I think, wear this in the daytime. And it will, it'll come off very, uh, very well. Coffee, vanilla, cardamom. cardamom, amber, nutmeg. Right. What's I mean, woody notes, sandalwood. What's not to like? The way, the way I see it, right? Definitely uh, a keeper and something to re up on uh, when you're running low. And I think it's like a fall winter signature, right? Can't go wrong. Beautiful presentation too. Right. And I, I put a dent in it. Oh yes, you have. Yeah. I like small details. I like the T the and the F, F and on the size. side that that's really not that obvious. Right. But um, small things, small details that it, make. It's, he's he's very into I think subtle like the subtle sophistication, right? Which is which is I think what he's really known for. But definitely Tom Ford. Very well put. Are, very well put. Um, next we'll go with. Also Tom Ford. Oh. Black Orchid. Another one. Can't go wrong. But this is, you know, much bolder than uh, than Noir Extreme. And very different. Right. Has a lot of notes that um, most, most you cannot find in other fragrances. Mexican chocolate. Yes. The, the truffle. The, for me, the it's truffle. Like the truffle. The truffle. Right. Very rare. Great, great, uh, great frag. I, if you're looking to go to an evening event and get noticed, this is what you wear. Yes, yes. Um, patchouli, orchid, and yeah. there. Oops, excuse me. Uh, vanilla, incense, uh, spices, and uh, fruity notes. Um, I mean, even when I started off, this was definitely wow. And uh, I think this is one of those things that very works very nice for men, mm -hmm. and at the same time, yeah. works very nice for it, females the, the, as well. What it, what it pulls off of the skin, or push sorry, pushes out of the skin, will be different. Okay, I find. But definitely uh, solid, solid. Very fragrance. solid, very solid. 
Um, this is a good show and tell so far. Yeah. Then we'll go to the House of Creed. Oh. Water Portugal. 1971? One? I think. Yeah. Van. 1971. That's right. Yes. Great sort of old school classic, you know, manly masculine scent. There's um, only like five, six notes in here. Right. Lavender. Lavender. Um, what else there? Sandalwood. Cedar. Uh, cedar. Bergamot. Bergamot. Yeah. Um, a few more in there. Vetiver, yeah, yeah, Vetiver and, and ambergris. Signature to signature to Creed is the ambergris. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, so I mean, it's the 120 ml uh, bottle, so it should be a little stronger than what um, you would get in your Holt Renfrew sacks uh, nowadays. Um, I just, it's an all-around favorite. Like, gotta love it. Very um. Uh, Gentlemen, but. right, right, right. They say it was the signature scent of Frank Sinatra. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, so I've heard older vibe. I don't think a teenager could pull this right. off, not really. Right, right. I'm, I'm not trying to like stereotype 30. it, but uh, I would, I would hear what say. you want at the end of the day, yes, yes. But typically, I think someone 30 plus at least would be at least yeah. successful wearing a suit, right? Oh, this is something else, right? Very right. nice, very nice. And then, last but not least, my, if there, if someone told me you could wear one fragrance. For the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. Wow. I wouldn't come up with an answer. Sorry. No need to be sorry. This is a, this is an all time favorite. All time. It's a slight, slightly sweet, slightly sweet, but very fresh fragrance. First of all, Prada does soapy so well. Oh. And Amber, Prada, Amber Pour Homme. And Prada does Iris yeah. so well. And people who know me know that I'm a big, big fan of uh, Prada Infusion and obviously Iris, Iris Cedar. This, the Iris is so prominent in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, surrounded with the uh, Neroli Amber Violet, but it just, for me, it's just yeah. bam, yeah. Iris. Punching so, you in the face, like you always do on your, right. on your uh, messages. Sorry, go ahead. But, I mean, so there are definitely some compliment um office stories scent, office scent. yeah give it give us a little personal personal background with so, it so i mean i the first of all the job that i have now this is the fragrance i wore in my interview okay so it already has sort of positive connection nice there. nice um, got you the job that's it um also probably i want to say six months before that i just finished some sort of political work that i was doing for the day the, some of the folks that were involved in that said, "Okay, we're going to the going to the bar, just grab some wings of you or something like that." And I was, we we're all suited, and you know, it was a professional event. But you know, just before I went in, I'm like, "Okay, let's freshen up a little bit." One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and <laughs> okay, Jeremy. Right, right. You have to wear your fragrances. Like yeah. That. Uh, power. Smash yeah. your heads. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. So. Uh, you know, sprayed a couple times and went in, and I think it was one of the waitresses, you know, passed by me, and then as we were about to sit down, came up to me and grabbed me by both hands and just started, yeah, started uh, harassing you. Yeah, that's as in 2020, maybe that's what we called, right? Okay. But you know, definitely other situations like those mm -hmm. from that scent, which you would not expect from Prada. Well, next I, time I go to a restaurant where allowed, I'm gonna spray this for a. Completely different reasons. Right. So I'm just gonna, you know. Yes. But that, I mean, that's not that's not the reason why I love it so much. It's just those those are some of the memorable stories. Okay, attached yeah. You to probably it. have a lot of stories. That was just one that you right. could come up with right now. I just it's just for me an all around like it's a signature scent. Like if you just had to have one scent, you before you want to smell sweet and you know sickly, you know before like a by the fireplace, you know smoky, fresh, kind of a, just just. So be, be fresh and stay fresh. Out of the shower, just oh, it's nice. It's right. really nice. Before people start venturing into the niche, I'm sure this is on their top three list of almost everybody, if not right. top top five of right, right. everyone who uh, hasn't ventured in the niche and swapped up their top fives with niche so far. But uh, that's a very uh, I like the show and tell because yeah. it's it's uh, short and sweet, and you actually like you. I can see how much you love them. And you're passionate about them. I'm gonna do a quick show and tell as well. Cool. I'm not really trying to embarrass you. Maybe I am. May maybe. 
So I'm going to show and tell three things that you gave me as a present. Oh my gosh. And they all have a common theme. Um, not really common theme, actually a common note, which is their strongest note. Um, I'm going to start with the one that's going to embarrass him the most. <laughs> my buddy uh, presented to me Success by Trump, my favorite person in the world. <laughs> I'm sure you uh, catching up on the sarcasm. So actually, this one isn't uh, too bad. It's what I would expect. Well, if you, if you want to smell like success, folks, let me tell you, you need to wear Donald Trump success. It's going to make your fragrance wardrobe great again, okay? It's going to be great. You're going to love it, okay? And if you don't like it, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? Thank you. Go ahead. Please. Thank you. Um, so... What is it? Um, birch, juniper, vetiver, red currant, and bamboo. Right. And and just, I mean, full disclosure, I am not a Trump fan by any means. Um, these I've actually had for, I want to say, the last 10-ish years, something like that. I, I can't even remember when I when I picked these things up, frankly. Um, they've just been sitting sort of in the, in the collection, not used as much, but... I wanted to pass on something that I thought was different and unique from all the stuff that you probably were smelling and were used to, and that's why I'm like, okay, this is, okay, it's not Tom Ford, like the newest release, but it's something different, right? So that you could uh, sort of get a taste of uh, something. Well, yeah. if you ain't a Trump fan, I reckon you get out of this podcast right now, because mm -hmm. I voted for Trump right now, uh, even well, from well, Canada. Well, well, well look. Like, like, I, I, like I've said, uh, there are a lot of problems with the policies that have come out from this administration. Uh, you look at how they've handled coronavirus and all these other, these other issues. Uh, can't can't, can't uh, fight their way out of a paper bag. And he's looking for your vote. I say that Joe Biden should be your president and you should give your vote right away. Vote by mail. Vote in person. Do whatever you got to do to make sure that we can make America truly great again. So, moving on to our next one. Trying not to get too political over here. Mm. Uh, the next two, surprise, are Mont Blanc. The first one actually is a Star Walker that I actually really enjoy. Oh, again, bamboo. Bergamot. Different note. Like, how often do you smell bamboo in a fragrance? Yes. Okay. Uh, other than um, Panda, which I really like, and Zoologist, mm. right? right. And, but that when I smelled that, it was the first, I think it's one of the first time, but uh, success, success had bamboo in it, and this one, it's way more prominent, though. Mm -hmm. And I was saying the orange sandalwood, white musk. Yeah, like very fresh. I mean, I don't get the ginger, though. I don't get any mm. ginger, but it's supposed to be in there. Mm -hmm. But again, a very fresh. Yeah, I mean, can't, again, can't complain. Can't go wrong. Yeah, no, no, no. But do you smell the ginger in there? I don't it's pick up faint, any. But I faint? Think okay, enough. okay. Um, so yeah, um, you know, if you watch the Jeffrey and J Dog show, you, you you probably know. But Star Walker came out with a pen, Time Walker, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, sorry, Star Walker pen. Yeah. And a Star Walker, the fragrance, and a Time Walker um, watch right. as well. Yeah. And I think it was a series, not an actually just one watch. Time Walker. I might be wrong. Uh, you can uh, anybody can look that up if they want. But it's um, I like how they uh, incorporated with the pen and just didn't do separate fragrances and do separate pens where they uh, did it together. I right. mean, back at the day when it came out, I'm sure people purchased them together and it was kind of like a set or whatnot. Right. So uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I mean, like, I really do enjoy no it. And it's just, even if I didn't enjoy it, it would just be the factor of learning new things and discovering. <laughs> and uh, the next one, oh, surprise, it's a Mont Blanc. I didn't know you like Mont Blanc. So it's uh, Presence, the uh, flanker, cool. Mm -hmm. um, I know the Presence, the original was the, it's the first, I think it's the first fragrance from Mont Blanc. Okay, or that, that part I didn't know. I mean, uh, you think oh, I you don't know. watch Jeffrey? You, you don't know. watch Jeffrey and J Dog? You don't watch? Uh, you don't? Okay, okay. I see how it is. I see. Don't go make me go get my wig, yo. I'm gonna chop him up, yo. Ah, fresh, 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 fresh. Uh, again, you know what the number one note in the strongest note in here is? Bamboo. Bamboo. I don't get it as much though as the other one. 
Yeah, Star Walk is pretty, pretty kicking. Both bamboo and bergamot. Mm -hmm. um, this one has taco beans, cardamom, and um, sorry, not cardamom, uh, green apple, and jasmine, white moss, and geranium. Green apple. Right. And so it's mm, more to me, it's just more of a, like a summery fresh. Okay. But still, I mean, all around. Like if, it, if you're spraying it on in January, you got to go a little heavier, right? But yeah. No, I don't think it's for winter or fall. Right. I, I, I'll still rock some fresh fragrances in, in wintertime. I do too. Right? Like a just, lore... just to smell them on me. Yes, right? yes, yes. Yeah. Um, since we've talked about Mont Blanc, let's talk just a few ones and why you like it so much. Right. I mean, we already did this, but. Uh, right. So, I mean, for me, the Mont Blanc brand, at least, has always been. You know something at least through the pens that I've seen as you know pretty up there pretty posh pretty su successful or at least, okay. at least giving off that successful vibe do you right? know what the name Mont Blanc means um, it's a white uh, mountain or white yes peak. it is a mountain it's a peak of a mountain yeah right um, the highest one in Europe right so, um, in fact they're on I pretty much every nib Mont Blanc nib is the number it's either 4810 or 4910. Oh, you don't even brought, know the no I should have brought a pen, I'm sorry. But that that four digit number actually represents the height of the Mont Blanc Peak. And it's sort of sort of symbolized in every at the top usually of every single uh, Mont Blanc fragrance. This would be the best um, sort of visualization because it's actually the same white and black uh, contrast that you get from the Mont Blanc pens, whether it's a ballpoint, uh, roller ball or, or fountain. So uh, yeah, some some fun facts there for you. But yeah, Mont Blanc as a as a brand, I just think, um, just really sort of prestigious at least for me. Um, and the price point on these, I when you can find of some, course of course when you can find of some of them, are are really great. I was in Yorkdale actually, when not too long after Explorer came out. Okay. I went into the Mont Blanc store in Yorkdale first. I'm like, hey, have you? gotten this in yet like what's the deal they're like no we don't know Probably it's 2019 back. right it's yeah. fairly new come, not that new come but. back to us in a couple of weeks blah 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 went down the hallway in the mall to shoppers oh yeah it's over here brand new da, da, da. No, again shoppers plug in i'm just saying um and so again whipped out the optimum points get the app pay for it get the app and uh and and picked it up so, uh, i just want to add like there's a lot of non-fragrances or non-fashion uh, like companies that try to make fragrance, like a Ferrari, um, I can't think of too much right now, but who aren't originally... Bentley. Bentley, who are not fashion or fragrances who are dipping into it. I, I think Mont Blanc is the most successful example, unless I'm missing something. If there is, please comment on the comment section. But uh, I think... Um, coming over to the fragrance mm -hmm. world from something else like pen which is totally non related right. I think they're the most successful I would, I would say so because the, the popularity I think of, of the brand is, is quite strong and, and fragrances I think help that along uh, quite a bit okay um, I came to the brand through through pens and then then found uh, some of these uh, these things here okay but again the price point on these are also like pretty great like yes. you can find this now I think on discounters I'm not too sure of that but I know the other ones are uh, pretty down almost Def close definitely. to the cheapy price yeah. range or whatnot. not um, bucks something like that yes yes um, I honestly like them too and um, thanks to you I'm discovering them more with uh, the, the time I mean Star Walker and uh, Essence mm -hmm. um, before we ask about your future plans really quick since I mentioned it uh, you want to try the Neroli Portofino on your left hand and try the uh, Forte on your right and let's just hear your quick um, analysis so that one you already have right some guy send some it to you guy. some guy some guy some guy some young guy yeah I, I want to say it's almost twice as strong twice as strong yep and it lasts more too for sure yeah but it's not the same scent true I'm picking up something like as it starts to settle. Is it a little darker? Yeah, well, d definitely. But what? I'm not the best person. I'm like, no, oh, me neither. Me neither. Yeah, the yeah. no, it's blah blah blah. I'm the worst. Yeah, definitely. As it 
just from what you so it feels like someone has crushed the the neroli's a bit more and it's like mixing with like dirt i know it sounds stupid no i i like those like almost stupid analogies because you know most people will give you the notes and tell you and Mm -hmm. i'm actually trying to make um start a brainstorming uh section where people have to describe something not using the notes or something that they feel in their head for a small example when i smell b i know there's no caramel in there but i in my head it's in there and i I like to describe a scent without using the actual notes in Mm -hmm. there and try to come up with something on your own but uh yeah that's why i really like that i just wanted to really do that quick because we Mm -hmm. mentioned it um we're almost done any uh future plans in your personal life um, you're gonna be the new president, uh, get rid of Trump, or um, and also in your frag life, like we already talked about bitter peach, but anything in the future that's coming out that you're excited mm-hmm. about, or um, well, not stuff that's coming out, um, stuff that's out there already that I'm interested in. One would be oud satin mood. Okay. Um, uh, the extra the parfum. Which uh, house have, is it? Uh, Maison Francis. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. And so, I had I have a like a small. Uh, sample at home. I would like to try it one time for you. It's, I mean, it just. Your face said it all. <laughs> it, it it envelops. Right? Yes. And it's just such a. Just such a classy sort of a high end sort of oud where, it's just clear this is oud. But then, I don't know again notes and all that kind of stuff afterwards. But it's just so enveloping and, just again so classy. Okay, I'll take your word for it. And, uh, well, uh, let me try it next time when I see it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, any future plans on you? personal life that you can mention here or talk about here no I mean, not not really not 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 hiding anything okay. it's just that you know with everything that's going on in the world um sort of things are on hold and sort of waiting for things to get back to normal normal that's i that's i guess everybody sorry um mm-hmm. just i got it just with the wind and the little whiff mm-hmm. and i barely got the neroli but mm-hmm. the forte i just got a Strong yeah, flavor. right in the face. It's almost like when you have them together, the uh, regular one disappears because right. it really takes over. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very much. That was amazing. Uh, one last message because we're sponsored by Shoppers. Sure. Make sure you get the card with the points and you g- make sure you get the apps so you get all the updates right away. Um, thank you, Asquit. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. This is great.